Hello, this is Tola from Trifle Productions with another random quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can uh, rig a character that you've made in Blender uh, through Make Human or you've made it in Blender yourself. And you want to rig it. But with this technique, you don't even have to understand rigging or know anything about rigging. Uh, this is just a straight process. Uh, no sweat with it, no issues. Just very simple, very easy. Now, the first thing you need to do is go to... Uh, this website Mixamo, it's Mixamo.com. Uh, create an account. I'll um leave a link of the description of, of this. I'll le leave a link of this uh, website in, in the description below. So you just have to sign in, and then from there, what you uh we can do just create our character. I'm gonna open up Make Human, and I'm going to let me see. Put some clothes on our character. Go to geometries and uh, let me see. Here are the clothing. Here is the clothing, or here are the clothes. And we're just going to put, uh, let me see, what can we put on this individual? This is just a, it's not even male or female, just a neutral gendered character. Put some clothes on him. Okay. And now we're going to go to. You don't even have to have a uh, actual rig inside of this at all, so we're not going to worry about putting a rig in it from Make Human. But the main thing is, it has to be in a T pose to rig it properly in Mixamo. So we're going to go to Pose and Animate, and we're going to go to Pose. We're going to choose T pose. All right. And the next thing we're going to do, let's put some skin on them also. Go back to geometries. Uh, let me see. Materials. Okay. We're going to click on middle age Asian male. Okay. And now we're going to export our character. I'm going to export it onto the desktop to find it a lot easier. So we're going to go to files. And we're going to go to export. And we're going to choose OBJ. Now Mixamo, it accepts both OBJ and uh, FBX formats, but from my own experience, I've seen that OBJ uh, works and renders a lot faster in Mixamo. So I'm going to click the OBJ wavefront object, feet on the ground, meter just, no, let's, let's pick meters to get the right height. And then we're going to click on these three little dots in this square here, and it's going to going to uh, give us the option to uh, for where we want to save our character uh, desktop and I'm going to let's create a file a folder I mean that's the best thing to do because it's going to export the textures with the uh, textures and the textures could be a lot because it's going to be in uh, the um, normals and the fuse and, the, and all that so I'm going to just click uh, mix here to make this folder mix click enter then open and then I'm going to name this guy I know uh, Toba I guess and then click save and down here you can see the progress and it's pretty fast it just exported everything out and let's close that out and so there she wants to exit the application I'm going to choose yes okay there it goes let's open up uh, Mixamo and as you can see here, uh, uh, there it is, there's our character down there. So I'm open the Mixamo. And I've already logged in. And over here it says has three buttons, buttons download, upload character, and find animation. So I'm going to click upload character. And I'm going to drag this off to the side. I'm going to double click that. And here is my OBJ uh, file. I'm going to just drag it over. And it's going to upload pretty quickly. It's pretty fast with OBJ. It uploads just in seconds. As opposed to FBX that does it in probably like 2-3 minutes. I don't know why it takes so long. I guess because of the... It's wanting to have some kind of animation attached to the, to the FBX. So that, that may be why it takes so long to load up in a FBX format. But this is OBJ. And it's processing the character. Okay, this is the auto-rigging section. Let's uh, 
open this back up, make it full screen. And then this is the instructions for what uh, it's wanting you to do with your character once it's been imported into Mixamo. Then click on next. And here is where you uh, place these points on your character uh, for it to be automatically rigged by Mixamo. And it has the uh, name of each point, the chin, wrist, elbows, knees, and groin. And it automatically has use symmetry as default. That, that, that way you, when you uh, attach uh, a point to a wrist, it automatically does it for the other side. So let's do the chin. And there's a, there's a little... A uh, mirror off to the side where you can actually see uh, where you want to place these points. That's for the chin, and this is for the wrist. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the wrist. Okay. And this is for the knees. Want to make sure you get it right on the exact spot you need the these points to be. That way it gets rigged properly. Or the elbows. Sorry about that. I was looking at the knees and. Placing the elbows, that's for the elbows, and that would be right there. Okay, and this is for the knees, and right there, and this is for the groin area. Okay, and then you have a choice here. I usually just leave it on the default setting for uh, the skeleton LOD. The four choices, three chain fingers, two chain fingers, no fingers. But I leave it on the maximum number of bones uh, for the rig. And then you click next. And it's going to uh, go through the process of automatically rigging your character for you. It may take, I think it's depending upon uh, the strength of your machine, whether it takes two minutes or less. But hopefully this shouldn't take too long. And if it does, I'll just... Pause the recording and start it up again. Okay, but once your character has been uploaded, these are the instructions off to the side here where you can orientate the points. I'm ha actually having to redo this part again for some reason when I did the first time. Uh, as you could tell from the screen, it was pretty much off center, the points were, this, but this should be fine. And once again, this is the chin, wrist, elbows, knees, and groin. And you take each point and place it where it needs to be. I think it was it got off center because I had uh, shrunk the screen. The screen, because now you can see that off to our right top corner, you can see the point is actually being shown in this uh, square where the point should actually be. That's for the chin, and this is for the wrist. And this is for the elbows. And this is for the knees. And this is for the groin. Okay, let's click next. Once again, the maximum number of bones, which is the default setting, and use symmetry is which is which it should be on. That way, you don't have to do it twice with the knees and the elbows and wrist. So click next. And it's going to auto rig once again auto rig your character to make sure that everything is uh, is going to be done properly and actually your character actually looks nice with the um, preset animations that it has to offer in Mixamo and once again depending upon your machine it may take a long time may not take a long time but um, maximum amount of time is like two minutes if it takes longer with my machine, I'll just uh, pause it and start it up again. Okay, now we're back. And as you can see, our character is fully animated. And you can click Next. And it has a little message here. It has been uploaded to Mixamo and proceed with new, this new character. Uh, it's coming up with this uh, notice because I have another character in there, but once you have a character already in there and you upload a new one, the old one will be deleted while the new, new one will take its place. Let's click Next. And there it is. You can just choose from any animation you want. Uh, it has tons of animations you can use, different poses, different movements. Uh, let's choose Jazz Dancing to see what it looks like. And there you go. And it's just a pretty, really good uh, 
piece of software to use for animating your character and the best thing about it or the good thing about this is that it's free you can uh, change the range and change the uh, pace or the speed of the movement with all these parameters on this side and you can mirror it I guess it'll make it go on the other side make your character move in the opposite direction but yeah that's how to how you can rig a character uh, using make human or blender uh, without having to know understand rigging or rig your character just as I mentioned before just as a recap uh, make your character in blender make human in this case made it make human and then you upload it as an OBJ or export it as an OBJ from make human save it on your computer uh, create a free account on Mixamo and once you've done that so you log in to your account upload your character uh, by clicking the upload character button off to the right once you've done that the settings come up for rigging your character with the points and then once that's done uh, it's pretty much a done deal and Mixmo is taking care of it once again Mixmo is free make humans free and blenders free I uh, hope this tip helped um, you all out there and uh, stay on the next one alright you guys have a great day alright bye